Billie Eilish, a seven-time Grammy winner, is arguably the most successful pop icon in her 20s. The pop star has won the hearts of tens of millions of people around the world with her music, vibe, Bloche trademark, clothing, and overall lifestyle. Bloche, a stylized human standing with his or her shoulders diagonally slanted, and its creator Billie are on a mission to scale new heights in the metaverse. Billie Eilish, the world's most famous pop star, has filed some intriguing patents related to the metaverse. Mike Condutis, a trademark attorney, shed light on a few key points in the filing. Eilish appears to have applied for the following metaverse-related areas, NFTs, virtual currency, and digital collectibles. The application also keeps track of downloadable video game software, virtual goods, in-game resources, and video game or virtual world currencies. Miss Eilish's decision will allow fans to buy her downloadable digital media, which is based on blockchain technology, downloadable video game software, and other virtual goods, such as in-game resources, video games, and virtual worlds. The used virtual currency is included. Universal Music Group recently announced a partnership with NFT platform Curio, which is not surprising given that Billie Eilish is one of UMG's most popular recording artists. These filings reflect a growing trend of well-known recording artists becoming interested in the metaverse and NFT. According to Mr. Condotis, artists as diverse as Dolly Parton, Grandmaster Flash, and Kiss have filed similar trademark applications. It's not just musicians who are getting in on the act, as a slew of well-known brands and domestic celebrities continue to file for metaverse and NFT-related trademarks. Billie was born in 2001 and rose to fame by posting deeply personal music videos on YouTube. Her logo, the Bloche, is well known among her many fans as a symbol in gender neutrality, strength, and freedom. Eilish is set to tour this year, has one of the largest Instagram followings, 100 million, and can be seen on the spring-summer cover of V Magazine. The possibility of her joining the metaverse as one of the biggest pop icons of her generation is incredible, and with a following as large as hers, it will undoubtedly be a grand entrance. Billy joins a growing list of well-known brands and artists who are showing an interest in the metaverse. The music industry has been very active in the world of NFTs and the metaverse, with numerous companies and artists participating in a variety of innovative projects. Paris Hilton, for example, entered the metaverse last December by hosting a New Year's Eve party on Roblox and then launching her NFT collection in collaboration with Superplastic. The music industry has been very active in the world of NFTs and the metaverse, with numerous companies and artists participating in a variety of innovative projects. Similarly, David Guetta debuted in the metaverse last month with a Roblox virtual DJ party. Furthermore, many singers, including Boy George, Ozzy Osbourne, and rapper Lupe Fiasco, have launched their own NFT collections. These filings reflect the growing list in the metaverse and NFTs among popular recording artists. The list of well-known brands and celebrities filing for metadata and NFT-related trademarks continues to grow, and it's not just musicians who are getting in on the action. American lingerie and beauty brand Victoria's Secret, McDonald's, the New York Stock Exchange, and beverage company Monster Energy have all joined the meta database. NFTs are relatively new, but interest in them is growing. According to Finbold Research, U.S. NFT trademark applications increased 400 times in 2021, with the highest number recorded in December. This month, 407 trademark applications were filed with the U.S. PTO, compared to zero in January of the previous year. The trend continued in January 2022, with 15 daily records. The metaverse is the future of the internet, according to CEOs such as Mark Zuckerberg and Satya Nadella. It could also be a video game. Or is it a more uncomfortable, worse version of Zoom? It's difficult to say. To some extent, discussing what the metaverse means is analogous to discussing what the internet meant in the 1970s. The foundations of a new mode of communication were being laid, but no one knew what the finished product would look like. So while it was true at the time that the internet was on its way, not every expectation of what it would look like was correct. On the other hand, there's a lot of marketing gimmickry wrapped up in the concept of the metaverse. Facebook in particular is in an especially vulnerable position as a result of Apple's decision to limit ad tracking, which has hurt the company's bottom line. It's impossible to separate Facebook's vision of a future in which everyone has a digital wardrobe to browse from the fact that Facebook wants to make money selling virtual clothes. That's all we had for you today. Did you enjoy the show? Hope you really enjoyed the show. If so, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Also, show us some love by clicking on the like button below and sharing the video with your friends and family. Turn on the notification button to get updates on our new videos. That's all we had for you today. Bye. See you next time in the upcoming video.